This is Jill Maurer with your Jewelry Minute, and today I'm answering the question, what is the difference between emerald cut and cushion cut? And these are two different ways to cut a stone, and generally we're talking about diamonds here, and people will ask the question when they're looking at engagement rings, but, but any gemstone, almost any gemstone, can be cut in either of these cuts. Both of them are rectangular. An emerald cut is a rectang has a rectangular shape, as does a cushion cut. Now, cushion cut can also be more square, but right now we're talking more about the emerald. The emerald cut is rectangular with the corners cut off of it in the diamond, and that is the way that the cushion cut is too. It's a rectangular shape with the corners cut off. So what is the difference? The difference is the way that they're cut on top. An emerald cut has these parallel cuts that are look like steps. We'll sometimes call that a step cut or an emerald cut. The cushion cut has a brilliant cut on the top. It's, a, it's cut in a lot of small facets, similarly to a brilliant cut round diamond and the two looks create very, very different effects. The emerald cut, because it has these long step facets, it has kind of a, a hall of mirrors effect, the way that the light works. You get a very broad flash, a broad sparkle. You can see a lot into the stone. You can look down into the stone much more clearly because there aren't as many facets confusing the eye. It has a very mathematical appeal, the emerald cut, because everything is very precise and linear. It also will make a stone look bigger. So a one carat emerald cut stone will look bigger than a one carat round brilliant cut because there's more surface area on the top of the stone. Because you can more easily see through the emerald cut, it will show imperfections more clearly to the naked eye. It will also show if your diamond is off color a little bit. This is a cut that was first created for emeralds, but has been used to cut diamonds for a long, long time. It is a very clean and classic look. The cushion cut has also been used in diamonds for a long time. And again, it is this sort of rectangular, corners cut off, but then it has this brilliant cut on top. And this is a much softer look. It is named after a pillow, after all. It's named for a pillow or a cushion, cushion cut. It's a softer look. It has a very antique feel because they were used a lot in antique stones. It doesn't radiate light as clearly as a precise round brilliant cut would, but it does it does flash a lot of light. It does, um, when you look at it, you know that you'll see flash, flash, flash. It's um, different from the emerald cut that has more of a broad flash. This will be a lot of sparkles on it. But still, in relation to a round brilliant cut, the facets will be a little bigger and you can see into the stone a little bit more. So even though these two different styles get confused, they do have very, very different looks. The cushion cut has become more popular recently, I think as antique stones um, have been more popular. Up until pretty recently, you didn't see people doing it, um, cutting stones in this way today, but you would see it in estate jewelry. Now you do see it. So when you're looking at jewelry, or maybe you're selecting a diamond for an engagement ring, and you want a rectangular shape, these are your two choices. Your two most popular choices are the emerald cut and the cushion cut. They're both beautiful stones. They look very, very different, and people like one or the other for different reasons. This has been your Jewelry Minute. If you have a jewelry-related question for me, just ask me in the comments section below. Until next time.